Okay, welcome back guys. So like I was saying, uh, the propane stove here, what I did as well, we, in my time lapse video with, with uh, the help of my dad, we, I removed the whole burner system and I cleaned absolutely everything. We blew out the burners, we cleaned the uh, pilot light we and we clean the orifice down there now the orifice was all sooted everything was sooted in here and now normally you don't see this there's a plate across here i removed the plate as well because i don't plan on putting the wood logs back in um not really um because i really don't care <laughs> but uh in doing so guys um i had to take this panel off the uh, control panel here and this thing here sticking up is the uh, the barbecue lighter or the piezo igniter for your pilot light now what has happened is I think I wore it out like I can push this in and we're getting nothing now um, which sucks but uh, that's not an issue I just open the glass and light the pilot with a, a match or a barbecue lighter or my little plasma thing and that's not a big deal um, these things do wear out and I've probably wore it out just trying to light the pilot after how many years <laughs> it's not good I'm gonna try to uh, remove this though and see if I can repair it somehow and uh, go from there but uh, yeah, everything seems to be good. We're gonna keep continuing to run it. Now, the only thing is, guys, I wanna give you guys a, a warning. And uh, I forgot to bring, I gotta clean up the floor because of all the soot and mess. I'm gonna mop the floor and everything. So I forgot to bring that stuff, of course. Rob's really good at cleaning. Look at the dust here. So I'm gonna have to do some massive cleaning. But, the, the plan here, guys, is I just want to make this clear. The way I have the fireplace set up right now, as I take stuff out of my pockets, there we go. Um, so like I say, the, I'm going to warn everybody, right now, the, this stove is going to be taking oxygen from inside my tiny house for combustion. Now, you guys know how tight the tiny house was, right? It was extremely tight, especially when I was uh, messing around with the wood stove over here. I found that out. So what I did, obviously we got fresh air coming in, this little pipe from outdoors coming in here. That's not enough though. So what is going on is uh, up, up, here in my rain catchment setup where everybody suggested a valve um, I'm not gonna put one in and the reason for that is I want this this is a three inch diameter ABS pipe that's bringing fresh air into the tiny house now you guys are gonna say well in the winter time you're gonna lose your heat out that pipe well Yes, but I'm going to be bringing in oxygen and any heat that does go out is going to heat up my gutter system and bring me water from the snow outside or condensation. And that's what I want. I want to capture year-round water. So now there is water in there. Um... I don't know if you guys can see that, probably not. I'll have to grab a flashlight for you. But I want to show you something. We have uh, the landlord has yet to uh, raise up the front of the tiny house, which is a bummer. Extremely bummer. But I'm going to show you guys something. See that? See that little. See how the IVC totes white and see this line here? That's water. I'm catching water. Um, not a lot. And uh, 
this is, has been over maybe a week, but remember guys, that's pretty amazing considering, um, considering the tiny house is on a downward lean to the front because of the legs have sunk into the dirt. I can't do anything about it because I don't know how to do it safely without a transport truck. And I'm not even going to attempt it because I already last asked my landlord. He's happy to do it. I said, whenever you have the time, do it. I left the long post, pressure treated post out there for him. Everything's good. So whenever he has the time, he will do it. Then once that's done, I can really capture a ton of water. And that's pretty awesome. So that's pretty sweet, guys. The tiny house is harvesting its own rainwater filtered via these gravity filters and no overflowing whatsoever. Now, obviously, I need to be a little bit more concerned about over this tank overflowing when the tiny house is tilted back towards these tanks. And as more water fills this tank, the heavier this tank gets, thus putting more pressure this way, drawing more water back towards it, which is good. So pretty awesome. Now it's a super rainy, crappy day out, and it says I'm sitting at 12.8, which is horrendous. I need to reset the wind turbine, it looks like, because uh, we're only getting gusts. And gusts of wind don't make power. I have to have constant, constant uh, 25 mile per hour winds in order to do such. So yeah, look at that. It's a crappy solar day. Super crappy. But anyway, Luckily, I don't have too much to do with the solar today, other than lighting. Um, there you go.